Hey everyone, it's Aisha and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be talking about something a little bit different than we normally talk about, but it's because it affects small businesses. So it's something I really wanted to focus on and that's the upcoming Small Business Administration EIDL grant and loan. The SBA EIDL loan has been around for a long time actually. It's something that's used by the SBA to help mitigate in terms of disaster situations and help small businesses get back on their feet. But the rules were relaxed last year because of the pandemic and during the CARES Act, the SBA released a new program that included not only an EIDL loan with a very, very low interest rate, but a grant that you don't have to pay back that went along with it. Small businesses were able to go to the SBA website and apply for the loan and while doing that there was an option to check a box to receive that EIDL grant as well and the amount was up to $10,000. Because that grant of $10,000 was something you wouldn't have to pay back, the program was a huge success and funds actually ran out super quickly so it got to a point where the SBA was only giving out $1,000 grants to small businesses even if they qualified for the program. Now with the new stimulus package that was signed in December, funds were added back into both the loan and the grant. So now businesses actually have a shot of getting up to that $10,000 max this time. And it is really exciting because a lot of those small businesses who missed out on that full $10,000 last time can be eligible for up to a $10,000 total, which means that if they did receive some grant money last time, whether it was $1,000, then they would be able to apply for the remaining $9,000 to bring their total up to $10,000 total. However, there are some changes to the program this time, and it is the requirements for which small businesses can actually receive that full $10,000 grant. So this time to qualify for any additional grant funds, the small business has to be located in a low income community, and they have to have shown a 30% reduction in their gross receipts between March 2nd of 2020 and December through the end of 2021. And that is compared to a previous period that has to match, and that would be before March 2nd of 2020 or sometime in that period in 2019. Like I said, those requirements are new. Last time to receive that initial $1,000 grant or whatever you received, you didn't have to show yourself as a business located in a low income community, and you didn't have to prove that 30% reduction. So that will definitely whittle down the pile of eligible businesses. But the nice thing to know is that if you applied for that grant last year and you received something, you are actually first priority to receive the grant this time. So that means if you are a business who is applying for the first time, businesses who applied last year actually have precedent to receive up to their full $10,000 before you are able to receive your funds. So yes, you can look back at your statements and see if you actually had that 30% reduction to qualify, but how do you know if you are in what is considered a low income community and how is that defined by the government? So it's actually nice because there is a tracker on the government website that shows where you can type in the address of your small business or if you're using your residential address as a sole proprietor, you can type in that address and it can show you what the income level and what your community is considered. So you can use that or you can use the definition of a low income community given by the federal government, which I will read off here. So a low income community is defined as any population census tract if the poverty line for such tract is at least 20% or in the case of a tract not located within a metropolitan area, the median family income for such tract does not exceed 80% of statewide median family income or in the case a tract located within a metropolitan area, the family income for such tract does not exceed 80% of the greater statewide median family income or the metropolitan area median family income. So if your community meets any of those that are required to be a low income community, you will be eligible to apply for that grant and that loan. Another important thing to remember is that a small business does not mean you need to have a physical store or even an LLC. You can be a sole proprietor and working for yourself as a contractor or as a gig worker. As long as you have something where you're working for yourself, you can be considered a small business under these new definitions. 
So if you are eligible and you are ready to apply, the new application goes live on January 17th. So we are super, super close to that day. Remember last time funds ran out very quickly. So it's important just to get your information in as soon as you can. So you can be one of the first people to receive an answer on whether you will be receiving that grant money. And I qualified for the $1,000 grant last time. And thankfully I do qualify for one of my businesses to apply for this second round of grant money. And I don't know about you, but $9,000 will make a big difference in my business. So I am very excited to apply again and I will keep you guys updated with any more information. I did just want to present this information because I know a lot of people who follow me are entrepreneurs in some way or have some sort of small business. So I wanted to make sure I was giving you guys as much information because listen, like we all want that grant money. I think it's really important. And if you did have a reduction in income last year, this will be great to help you recoup those losses and help you better set up your business for success in the future. So with that, I'll say thank you guys for watching and I'll talk to you soon.